Does the world really need Amazon Prime Day? I clearly did some damage on Amazon. If you make a lot of sales from your storefront, they give you a gift card. I definitely made a lot of sales last month because this is everything I bought with my gift card. So I'm gonna rapid fire open all of these and show you guys what I got. I'm reorganizing my laundry room. So I got a few things for that. We have dryer sheets. And then I got these organization bins also for the laundry room. Came in a pack of two. I got a new laundry basket. This one has like dividers. I'm gonna put this together later. I got these little scoops also for the laundry room. I got this stain remover. I think this is supposed to be for babies, but Mark and I stain our clothes all the time. Disposal cleaner. I finally bought some plates and bowls that aren't plastic. The ones I have now I literally got for 50 cents at Target. These ones are so nice. Came in a pack of four of everything. There's plates, smaller plates, and bowls. Got some little grave decorations for my yard. This is also for the laundry room. I got two of these because I'm gonna fill up one of those jars. For little hanger things for organizing your closet. This is a little plate organizer for those plates that I got. This is also for the laundry room. I'm gonna put my detergent in here. I got another harness for Otis in the car. And I got two of these little boxes. Mark and I have so many letters from each other just floating around in our drawers. So I got two of these so we could put ours in here. Unite seven seconds to tingler. This is the best for your hair ever. So I bought another one. I bought these little bow hooks. I'm gonna hang these up in my mud room. I'm obsessed with these. A little trash can for your car. Some mini hangers to put my workout clothes on. I've been so excited for this to come. This is a Mackenzie Childs collection. I have some of the other stuff in my kitchen and I saw this school and it's perfect for Halloween. More laundry detergent for the laundry room. Got a little gold ring to wear with my wedding ring just for fun. You look so cute together. I bought this light because I bought some pictures and I'm gonna hang them up and put this light above it. After I bought this book to go on my coffee table, it's actually another book I bought also with this, but it hasn't come yet. Oh, but that's everything I got from Amazon. I have all this linked in my storefront under October favorites. Hi, my name is Florence and I'm a black woman living in Germany who loves reading books and talking about current topics. Uh, you can follow me on my podcast. I have a podcast where I talk about books with my friend and uh, I'm also on TikTok and on Instagram. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like, uh, comment or subscribe and share if you find it uh, uplifting. So Amazon Prime Day is an annual shopping event held by Amazon. We just had two two days previously it typically lasts uh, 48 hours and features significant discounts across a wide range of products exclusive to amazon prime members it aims to boost sales and promote membership subscriptions it has unfortunately been criticized for fueling overconsumption due to one massive discounts that encourage consumers to buy items that they may not need, often leading to impulse purchases and excess consumption. I just got in all of my packages from the Amazon Prime Big Deals Day event, so let's unbox. Okay, starting with the Nugget Ice Maker. I've always wanted to try one of these, so I'm so excited it was on sale, and I just had to grab it. This is Pompous Grass, I think that's what it's called, but you basically put these in like your vases. You guys, you guys know what I'm talking about. Let me show you though. Oh, okay, it looks like actual hay. What are you gonna put these in your vases? Hold on, let me show you. Okay, exhibit A. Obviously, it needs to expand a little bit, but it's, it's home decor. So this is for my laptop and my iPad. So I'm gonna put, you basically put one in each and then they're just perfect to keep your office nice and organized. These ones were on sale. I couldn't not get them. They're just so cute. I don't have the smaller, shorter ones. So I got these for the fall winter. These are these super thick socks that are like great to wear like in those Uggs, for example, or just like, I don't know, like winter boots. They're super thick and very, very soft. So I got a three pack of these. I'm from Michigan and the weather here, don't play. Like in the winter, get your Canada boots in your North Face and your Uggs and get ready because it's like war over here. This is a cord organizer. It comes with three different levels to kind of hold all of your cords, which I love. I lose all of mine and in like a junk store or something. Also comes with little twisty ties that you can wrap your cords around and then organize it by compartment. Just 10 out of 10 purchase. Got some new nonstick baking sheets. So these are supposed to be knobs for my dresser and they are like a child size knobs. So basically going back. I try to be trendy like everybody and get one of these like jumpsuits, not jumpsuits, but I don't know, it's supposed to be like an athleisure set. I'm five two, there ain't no way this is fitting in unless I get this hemmed. So we're gonna try it on and then go from there. The second I took this out of the bag, I said I have to put it on and show you guys. This is my favorite jacket ever. I love it so much. I have different colors, but this color, she was on sale. And the detailing here, it's totally like giving Lulu athletic vibes we love. So I have a very favorite pair of earrings on Amazon that I wear all the time. These hoops are in the collection of them, but I said I'm gonna try something new and get some new hoops. And I just had some new baby gold. Honestly, okay, Loki, why are they look exactly the same as the ones that I already have? You can't ever have too many, so definitely to keep. If you're new here watching this, I went viral on TikTok for Lulu dupes, and I take a lot of pride in finding really good ones. And this is a Flow Y dupe bra, and it came out in a new color. I love like the cool gray tones for the winter time. And this is, like I said, the dupe for the Flow Y bra. So soft, so comfortable, and fits like a dream. Also, don't judge me. We, we're keeping the jacket on. It is too cute not to wear, and I just I have to. Um, if you're watching this, just exit after this because I have so many pairs of sweatpants. I just take a lot of pride in loungewear. And I found these cute flared pants, and I love the back. The detailing is really nice. The seams. I'm gonna try these on and keep you guys close with the material. Them is so soft. And I got another color because why not? I'm obsessed with this color. It's like beige taupe neutral. If you know me, you're gonna love some neutrals. This is a pretty big one, not gonna lie. So let's see what's in here. These are trays that you put, you stack them, like they come with these uh, little poles and you stack them together. I'm gonna put these under my sink to keep all of my dishwashing stuff organized and all that. Got these little gold um, spice organizers and then they also come with all the labels. They also came in like a giant pack and they were on sale so cheap, so I just kind of grab them. Also got another one of those little storage carts. I use these powder all the time to set my makeup, but these ones came in a case, so that automatically just makes them better because I feel like it's gonna make organization in my drawers so much easier. Okay, so I'm still left with all of this and I don't want the video to be too long, so go to part two. Two. Consumer behavior. The agency created by limited time deals can drive people to prioritize quantity over quality, leading to wasteful consumption 
and spending. Three, environmental impact. Increased shipping and packaging associated with the surge in orders contribute to higher carbon emissions and plastic waste. Four. <laughs> Come unbox all of these packages with me and see what is sponsored and what is just part of my shopping vision. Fast fashion and electronics. Promotions often include fast fashion and electronics which are associated with short lifespans and significant degradation. Five, waste generation. The accumulation of unwanted items can lead to more waste, exacerbating landfill issues and resource depletion. Critics argue for more sustainable shopping practices and awareness of the environmental consequences of consumerism, emphasizing the need for mindful purchasing behaviors. This brings me to a book recommendation, Loved Clothes Last by Ozola de Castro, that advocates for sustainable fashion and the importance of rethinking our relationship with clothing. The book emphasizes the value of quality over quantity, encouraging consumers to appreciate and care for the garments that they already have, rather than succumbing to fast fashion trends. De Castro explores concepts such as upcycling, repairing, and the circular economy, promoting practices that extend the lifespan of clothes. This book serves as both a manifesto for sustainability and a guide for making more conscious decisions in fashion, ultimately urging readers to embrace a more mindful and ethical approach to their wardrobes. Use of pictures and text in the book is something that I absolutely love. Let me share with you a few things that I saw. Um, here, um, I don't know if you can see it. Um, it's uh, instructions on how to dye fabric blush pink with an avocado. Uh, another thing that I also liked was her sharing, uh, the understanding and learning to read care symbols. This is so, so important because then you can always find out how to wash and take care of your, of your clothes so that they don't get ruined fast. And she also talks about repairing. Uh, she talks about... Uh, she has statistics like New Yorkers throw 200 million pounds of clothing into the trash every year. That's the equivalent of 440 Statues of Liberty. And let us not forget that while Amazon offers competitive wages and benefits in some areas, there are criticism that reflect ongoing debates about labor practices and corporate responsibility in the gig economy and retail sectors. Let us remember criticism of Amazon, such as work conditions, employee surveillance, job insecurity, labor rights, uh, labor rights and concerns about its employees, physical and mental health. Unpopular opinion, Prime Day's a scam and the sales, it's all made up. And it's there to get you to buy more things during a time that was typically a slow season for retailers. Just look at this stat from last year. People spend $13 billion on stuff they probably don't need. If you really wanna get out of the Amazon chokehold this year, here's what I'd do. Ask yourself, one, do I really want this? Better yet, do I really need this? Two, am I buying it just because it's on sale? Three, is it actually on sale? Remember, just because it says it's on sale doesn't mean it actually is. I don't care what you buy or where you buy it from. I just care that it's on your terms, not theirs. So let's focus on buying things that actually bring value to us, things we actually want, not because we got suckered by a good deal. Let us remember that everything we buy Everything that we bring into our lives will one day turn into trash. And so remember, before you click that buy button, remember that everything that we buy, everything that we own is trash. Remember, what we consume today will be the next day's trash. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that this has encouraged you to look into your consumption. And don't forget to like and comment, and of course, subscribe. And see you in, in my next video. Bye-bye.